Hey guys, this is the video for the debut of the new version of my website, version 2.8 Preview 5. And with this debuts the color editor uh, for my site, which lets you completely, almost completely change the way my website looks uh, with the background colors, the text color, the background images, and border colors for pretty much a good portion of my site. So anyway, um, this will work with Opera 9 or greater, Safari 3 or greater, Firefox 1.5 or greater, but uh, none of the versions of Internet Explorer that you can get your hands on, which includes Internet Explorer 8 Beta 1, though uh, I don't think we'll be seeing support for it in the final version of Internet Explorer 8, as they've basically shot down um, one of the JavaScript DOM objects, the Ad Event Listener. Anyway, uh, most of you don't really care about the computer code, but some of you do, so I'll probably go into the computer code um, in a second video. But you guys want to see this thing in action, so let's do that. This menu here is when you choose what to select, this is what you change, and here we go. Now let's say you want to choose the um, the secondary background. You choose a second selector here. These are selectors. These are properties. And that's in the background. Now let's say I want this red color, these uh, parts of the page to have the color in the background show instead. I'd go back to the first selector. I choose transparent, which is has the uh, fuchsia border color. And let it let the um, background color through. Now, don't, I'm not worried about showing off good taste here. I'm just showing off, uh, trying to give you guys a um, a good idea of uh, what you can do here, as far as what you can change. Now, the background color here, which is the body element, that's going to be in the back here. Actually, let me set a uh, reset the editor. And when I click on the editor tab, it resets the preview. It doesn't save anything, uh, and it clears everything. Go back to the body element. I'm going to set it to a bright color so you guys, you guys can see this. Now you're like, well, why would I want to bother uh, changing that color? Well, pretty simple. That's why. That's the color it changes. Uh, except uh, everything except for the editor will have uh, the body background set. Um, the pit transparency here, so that way uh, it gives the center here focus again. And when I click on the editor, it resets everything. So I can also change the background images. Now I'm going to go to uh, Nature here. Now there are categories that you can change. This is all keyboard accessible, by the way. So I'm going to go to Nature here. Let's say we want to do uh, something festive for uh, October. Let's set up, uh, there we go. And we could set, say, the background image to use the pumpkins. And let's, uh, what else can we change? We can change the secondary set. Let's go to uh, back to the background colors. And the secondary set is this. That's that part of the page. And uh, these uh, these colors down here, these are custom a added colors. Uh, we can go into the um, the editor options, go to advanced, and down here you can add colors. So I'm going to add uh, F one F. I'm going to add it. That'll be near fuchsia. It'll get added right down there. You can add as many colors as you want, and it'll start scrolling if you add so many. Um, these fields here aren't meant to be clicked, they're just here to show you what you're clicking on as far as the color values. This supports shorthand CSS and uh, the normal length uh, hex values. If you click on here, it's going to give you a little message um, that uh, 
if you want to change things or add colors, and it'll give you focus here. This is all keyboard accessible. And it says, ah, uh, the color is already in the palette. I can, uh, you can see here, I'm going to put my mouse right here. And as I tab and I press enter, you go to a more contrasting color. That's hitting the enter key on the keyboard here. I love how the camera doesn't set itself correctly. Now the frame is basically the bottom and the top. And no, that's not Vista, that's a Vista theme for XP. Like how I'd use uh, Vista, the OS for noobs. I've got some uh, some background images for the ladies. It says ladies, it's not of ladies, it's for the ladies. No. But uh, So if I change this, there you go. Of course, I'm not going to leave it uh, all bubbles and stars and stuff, so it's, uh, it's something uh, a little gothic here. There we go. What else can we change? Uh, the headers. We can change the header uh, back on images. And the first header and the, sec uh, the secondary headers are separate. As you can see here, I just changed the background image of the headers. Let's go to nature. It's good contrast. We can change the uh, the text color of the headers. Uh, okay, let's uh, reset the theme here because this is getting a little goofy for my taste. We could change the the menu background colors. Change the hover and focus color. Let me go back to the uh, regular one and set it to something a little darker for contrast. In order to go to the menu, hover and focus. Hover and focus are, are shared. So if I give this focus and I start tabbing, you can see my mouse is over here. If you have DHTML effects enabled, this can actually be moved around in most browsers so you can uh, check out. Now this is obviously going to look a little, it could be easier to see with um, when you actually visit the site. You could change the visited colors. So for example, this meant we visited uh, that page. Okay, forms. forms right now. Button colors. We can change the color of the buttons. We could change their uh, the button hover and focus color. So let's set this to like dark blue. We could give the uh, the, the uh, hover back on images. Guess that's not working too well, but okay. The labels. Change the color of uh go back to color here. That's the location. Color one is location. Color two is the subtitle. So basically, uh, stuff here.
It's like a secondary color. Color three is your general, um, change the text color here. So yeah, that's the editor. I will um, cover the technical aspects of that in the second video. Um, if you're not interested in JavaScript, CSS, and stuff like that, then, you know, just go check out the editor. Uh, but if you are interested, uh, I'll be discussing that in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around soon.